Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Julian from SynthwavePro.com. Have you ever wanted to cycle really quickly through your kick drum sample or kick drum library while your song is playing, just to get some ideas whether or not a particular kick drum will work? Well, you may want to consider adding a kick drum selector as we have here. So let's play our song here and see what we have going. I'm just going to toggle this little knob here and cycle through a few of our kick drums. All right, so this is an easy way to cycle through or audition some of your favorite samples as your song is playing. So let's go ahead and see how we can create a very similar rack. So what I'm gonna do here is create a MIDI channel and let's import a sampler, not a simpler, a sampler, big difference, all right? I'm just gonna set this to a group, open up that zone editor here. And let's go ahead and import some of our favorite kicks. Now for this particular tutorial, I'm just gonna select these 10 kicks here and drag them right here in this zone editor region. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is select the select knob here, right click on this area and select the distribute ranges equally. Now what this does is that it's going to distribute these kicks at different regions throughout this selection range here. So that the next step, all I have to do is right click on the vertical blue line and let's map this to a macro control. And now, as I turn the knob, we're gonna be cycling through these 10 kicks. Now, you can add up to 127 samples. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. But first, let's provide some MIDI data. So what I'm gonna do is slide this right over here. And let's go ahead and give this a shot. And there we go. Cycling through our 10 kicks. So this is a really cool way of quickly cycling through some of your favorite kick drums. Again, you can do this for snares. You can create the same rack here for snares, for claps, for hi-hats, for some of your favorite percussion hits, and even vocal one-shot samples, all right? You can even kick this up a notch by let's say adding some of our favorite controls. So let's head on over to the filter global. And one of the most, let's say, widely used parameters that we're gonna manipulate for our kick drum will be the attack, the decay, the sustain, as well as the release. All right, so now as our kick drum is playing, we can always manipulate these controls. You wanna snap your kick. Just gonna reduce that sustain, okay? Really valuable controls here. We can even kick this up a notch and let's say add a pitch or transpose rather to our macro control here. If ever we wanna pitch that sample up or down. And last but not least, we can tether a volume control. All right, so I've created something similar for some of my favorite synthwave kick drums here, and I'm just gonna cycle throughout them as our song is playing. All right, so if you're interested in getting your hands on this particular rack, which includes some of my favorite kick drums in regards to Synthwave, I'll leave you with the link below. You can click on that and I'll be sure to send that your way. That being said, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was really helpful. You can use this during your pre-production phase. And with that said, stay safe and I'll see you next time.